right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakagodash, and the bonds to the apostles and the elders, GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great example towards younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutations, and hopefully they got there pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the whole like the believers and listeners that have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And what I want to get into this morning, you know, just going into the effect, you know, of every vision, you know, because over these last few decades, beginning with our apostles and elders, all right, the message, you know, the prophecies has been going out, you know, the times, you know, that we're coming into, which the scripture described as the worst time, <clears throat> all right, since the earth ever was, you know, it's going to be some horrific times, you know, that's coming to the earth. In the near future. Now, when you read Ezekiel, all right, twelve and twenty-two, all right, says, "Son of man, what is the what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, the days are prolonged and every vision filleth?" Now, when he's speaking of the land of Israel, we know it's speaking to the people. You know. It's talking to the tribes. It's addressing, you know, the 12 tribes, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are being addressed, you know, in the text. You see? So wherever our people are, and we know the majority, you know, of the tribes are here in America, but globally, you know, the Lord, you know, has been pushing, all right, prophecy through the prophets, man. You know, has been expounding on these prophecies through the prophets, you see, and our people, you know, have a mindset, you know, like what we're saying, you know, is failing, you see, because people think, you know, as brothers teach and prophesy every day, you know, but then they can go and live, you know, their normal day-to-day -day life, all right, the only thing changed is maybe a mask, <laughs> all right, and you maybe had to get, you know, the potion, you see, but for the most part, you know, Jake, our people look at it as if you know this current situation is going to be perpetual man you know and that's the mindset of jake so they're saying with their actions like you know the things that we're saying are prolonged you know and really what we saying is feeling you know and it says on um, verse 23 tell them therefore thus said the lord power i will make this proverb to cease all right and they shall no more all right, and they shall no more use it as a, a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand, all right, and the effect of every vision, you see? So the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. And that's a heavy statement because, see, you hear brothers, you know, begin with our apostle elders talk about the famine, you know? But pretty soon, all right, you're gonna be living in the famine, not knowing when you're going to eat. That's going to be your reality of not knowing when the next time you're going to eat. Going months, you know, me going weeks and days, you know, without eating. You know, months with barely eating, scavenging for food. You see? That's going to be a reality. The effect of every vision is going to really settle in. You know? There's going to come a time, alright, when, when a lot of people, you know, especially in America, get drafted, you know, for war, find themselves over there in the Middle East fighting a war, all right, when a few weeks ago, you know, they was playing the, the, the PlayStation 5, all right, Call of Duty, but now, no, that's a reality now, now you really out there, man, you know, the effect of very vision, you see, you gonna, you know, it's going to be, America going to be a big war zone, man, you're going to see a lot of militias, you're going to see a lot of gun violence, you know, civil war, class wars, you know, uh, all right, women, you know, being ravaged, as the scriptures say, you know, that's going to be a reality, man, you know, men just having their way, you know, no authority, all right, to regulate anything, no police to regulate anything, just, you know, it's pure chaos, man, you see, the effect of every vision is coming to a doorstep near you, you know, even we have things, you know, we have to go through, man. You know, some brothers going to be tried. Some brothers going to be on the run, you know. 
the effect of every vision is coming right, to a door near you, man. You know? So everything that the apostles speak of, you know, um, start with El Apostle Heart. Now, you know he talks about the MOB a lot, man. You know? That new <laughs> way of buying and selling. You see, that's going to be the only thing accepted soon. All right? That's going to be mandated soon. You see? And they setting up the infrastructure for it now. So everything, you know, that's being spoken, you know, is going to come into play where it's going to be your reality. And see, that's going to be the time when the prophets get put up, the famine of the word. That's an that's a effect of every vision. You're not going to be able to have access to the prophets anymore. Be able to ask questions and, you know, get edified, all right? Because the majority of our people, they take the prophets, you know, for granted. The word of Yahweh by Shema was shot. Because it ain't, you know, us that's special, you know. But it's the word that the Lord has put within us, man. You know, the Holy Spirit that the Lord has put within us. That's precious, you see. And it's going to come a time where, all right, like the scripture said, <laughs> you know, there was no open vision in that day. And the word of the Lord was precious, man. That's why, you know, brothers are going to be sought after, man. You see, in these times, man. You see? Because we're going to see a lot of people buckle at the effect of every vision, man. All right? You're going to be living everything that you hear. Everything that the Bible speaks of is going to be a harsh reality, all right, for the masses of the people, man. So you still have that mind frame, you know, where people not taking anything serious, but see the effect of every vision, you know, hasn't fully set in. And there's people being affected, you know, by particular things, you know, but it hasn't fully just set in yet, man, but it's coming, you know? Martial law, <laughs> you see? All these newly created uh, 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 creatures, man, apparitions, just, you know, a horror house, man, maybe an EMP tech, you know, the plague of darkness, you see? All these things are prepped, <clears throat> all right, to be the new reality, you know, for, for the masses of people, man. You know, I just want to bring that out real quick, not make it real long, you know, just was uh, meditating on it, you know, last night. And uh, just uh, <laughs> thinking about how, man, most High going to, he's going to make everything, you know, the prophet's been saying a reality, man, you know. So that's the point, Lord Williams, edified to the next time I say shalom.